Hello friends, welcome to my channel Math Simply Learn. In today's short video, I will be discussing about ECG changes in hyperkalemia. So let's begin the video. So let's begin with a brief introduction about hyperkalemia. The definition is in hyperkalemia is raised potassium levels in the blood. Value is more than 5.5 milliequivalents per liter. Coming to the causes, first important causes are due to decreased excretion through the kidneys, as in acute or chronic kidney failure, hypoaldosteronisms, then drugs that reduce the effect of aldosterone, and type 4 renal tubular acidosis. And then the second important causes are shift of potassium out of the cells due to metabolic or respiratory acidosis. This is seen in insulin deficiency that is in diabetic ketoacidosis, then beta adrenergic blockade, tissue catabolism or cell lysis due to tumor lysis syndrome or rhabdomyolysis or burns, hyperosmolarity and periodic hyperkalemic paralysis. Third important causes are pseudo hyperkalemia which means falsely raised potassium levels in the blood. These can be due to hemolyzed sample or prolonged tourniquet or fist clenching during sample withdrawal. Finally, due to excess intake also the potassium levels can be raised in the blood that is high potassium diet or rapid KCL infusion. After discussion of the definition and the causes of hyperkalemia, let's briefly see the various EG changes based on the potassium levels. First of all, when there is mild hyperkalemia that is between 5.5 to 6.5 milliequivalents per liter, the first ECG changes which appear are the peaked T waves. In case of moderate hyperkalemia, PR prolongation and loss of T wave occurs and in the severe hyperkalemia that is more than 7.5 milliequivalents per liter, QRS complex widens and appearance of sine wave pattern occurs. So peaked T waves are the first ECG change that appears in the hyperkalemia. It is the first change. There is presence of the tall, narrow, symmetrical T waves on ECG and these T waves are seen in the V1 to V6 chest lead. And reason is due to the increased potassium levels, there is faster repolarization phase 3 in the ventricular myocyte which leads to the formation of these tall narrow T waves. The second important ECG changes which appear in hyperkalemia are raised PR interval and loss of T waves. The PR interval is increased due to the slow AV nodal conduction due to decreased sodium channel availability and also the P wave flattening or the loss occurs. This occurs mainly due to the raised resting membrane potential which leads to atrial myocyte inactivation leading to the reduced atrial depolarization amplitude which leads to the decreased amplitude of the P wave and progressively loss of the P waves. And finally what happens in the hype, severe hyperkalemia there is widening of the QRS complex and sine wave pattern is seen in the ECG. This occurs due to progressive slowing of the ventricular conduction as sodium channels fail to recover from the inactivation and moreover QRS complex slowly merge with the T wave and which forms the sine wave pattern. And these changes are the precursors to the cardiac arrest. They are very, very emergency condition requires immediate intervention to prevent the death of the patient. So friends, this was all about the ECG changes in the hyperkalemia. Thank you.